Uh, oh shit. Sorry about that awful noise. I keep a bag. I keep a bag on the mic. I just put a little bag on the mic. Does anyone else bag up their mic at the end of the day? Um, I put a bag on my mic because, uh, I don't know really, I just don't want it to get dusty. Exactly, Die Type Fighter. Um, right, that threw me. Basically, I was laughing because I was just reading uh, what Frolical said and then what Josh said about M, and it's really fucking amazing. Um, so let's catch up with that. Herford, how you doing? Die Tie Fighter, sorry, you were here first. Um, good to see you, Sparkle Muffin. Frolicals woke up to daughter singing fruit salad to herself. I could be the new Mr. Tumble. What a dream that would be. Thank fuck we're past the Mr. Tumble stage in our house. We don't watch any of that anymore. Although, Mr. Tumble introduced me to one of the best songs ever. Um, maybe we'll watch that in a second. Um, listen to it. But the best thing I've seen, apart from the fact that Frolicals uh, and Josh Won't Know and Llama Chan Gaming and Fluffy Pink Blonde uh, and Stu's if apart from the fact that they're here, is Josh Won't Know saying that M woke up in the middle of the night, half asleep, and said fruit salad, then went back to sleep. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> I had the fruit salad in my head all night. Um, and I went back and watched the video from last night. So if anybody isn't aware, last night there was a Rust uh, fringe event in Limmy's Rust server. And I... Uh, I was like, I'm going to stream it and I'm going to go there and it's going to be really fantastic to go and watch. And in my head, I was like, I am not performing. I'm not getting up. I've got nothing to do. I've got no talents. I've got no plan. I'm just going to watch it. And even if they're like, come on, please, can somebody do something? You know, somebody perform. I'm not doing anything. And then we got there and um, Frog Zoe did um, their performance, a little song. And then there was no one else doing anything initially. And then a couple of people did some stuff. Barma did some um, mind reading. We had some other performances. And I was like, I could do fruit salad. And as soon as I thought to myself, I could do fruit salad, I just started getting... Weirdly, my heart was like, are you sure? Do you want to do this? And I got up on stage and I fucking pressed the map screen. And I had my map on screen for the whole fucking time. Which was really annoying. The rain has just come, by the way. You're not going to be able to hear that, but it's just started hammering it down. I think there might be some thunder here at some point. Let me check. Let's have a live weather update. Rain forecast for the next hour. Maybe thunder at 11, 12, 1, 2, 3 and 4. 20 degrees though, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, map screen is annoying. I don't know why that happened, because usually that only happens if I hold down G, and I wasn't holding down G. No, I could see the crowd, and it was just, you know, there are no facial expressions in Rust, so it was just a load of people doing this. Um... So I don't know, I must have pressed G to try and speak through the mic for some reason and then it just stayed on that. And the way I've got my PC set up now, because I can't have two screens like I used to, I'd have my Mac and then my spare monitor, but my PC mon is just attached to one monitor and not to the Mac screen. I can't have OBS properly visible behind whatever game I'm playing, you know, alongside whatever game I'm playing. So usually you can see if something's fucked up on stream, but I can't do that. Unless I make OBS really small. Maybe I'll do that. I'll have a really small me up here. And then at least I can see if it's stuck on some weird screen. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Second monitor fun starts today. I don't know where I put it though, Daitai, because I've got my second monitor. Remember, just double check, I'm not going to show you anything really dodgy any important information in front of me here. I think we're safe. If 
fact, I need to be able to see my OBS. This is my setup. I've got my I've got my laptop there with a delayed me on stream, but my stream manager, and then I've got my my other monitor there. Uh, and loads of other shit. So that means I can't put, oh no, look, that bit of thing is falling off. That bit of thing is falling off. That means I can't do any, um, I can't really put another screen anywhere. A tablet. Bet that falls off again in a minute. If you have an Android tablet, there's a really good app you can get to use it as a monitor. I don't have an Android tablet. You can move the desktop, just get a little mini monitor. Yeah, maybe I do. Morning Cheddar Stink, how you doing? I don't know where I'd even put that though. Maybe I'd have it down here. I just have it below my other monitor so then I could see, at least I could see OBS because it is good to be able to see if weird things are popping up on screen or if you're on the wrong scene, of course. Sad, you're telling us you've done your hair today. Yes. <laughs> I've done my hair in the sense that I had a shower 10 minutes before the stream and then I dried it and, and put some stuff in it. Is that okay for you, Fluffy? What, what do you want from me, Fluffy? Do you want me to just get out of bed and start streaming? Just in my pants? Sleep in my eyes, not even brush my teeth? Yes, Fluffy, what do you want from me? Morning, Moody Bins, how you doing? I'm not going to command strip everything to surfaces like you, Llama. I want you to look like you've made the effort you say you have. I'm just a man in my pants. That was for you, Sparkle Muffin. I've seen other streamers have a scene command for mods to change the gameplay scene. Not used it myself, but seems pretty useful. Yeah, I think uh, 1030 has that. Um, the problem I had last night in Rust is that it wasn't actually the scene that was a problem. I just, my, my map overlay was just, I, I was performing at the Rust fringe. So quite a big deal. And I managed to press G and it brought up my map overlay, but then I wasn't still pressing it. I don't know what's going on. Excuse if steams, steams, steamy pants, streams in your pants. Will this be a thing from now on asking for a friend? It can be. Actually, can it be? Yeah. We're allowed to show our nipples, aren't we? Men. Male nipples. That would be shit. That would be awful. Uh, Fluffy, you're the most hostile person I've ever... No, you're not hostile. I didn't think it was hostile. I was worried about what Adadad usually looks like. Well, I just look like this, but just a bit more untidy. You know. Just a bit more untidy. Anyway, um, at the risk of getting anybody who's here... Yes, more untidy. Uh, to leave... Let's quickly listen to uh, a little bit of Justin Fletcher, What Does the Fox Say? Okay, if any of you have got kids, you might know this. If you haven't got kids, I'm really, really sorry. Uh, but I heard this song. Justin Fletcher is Mr. Tumble. I heard this song and uh, was absolutely blown away. Absolutely blown away by the craft the lyrics, the emotion. Light up the action with the tumbling stunt RC car. Drive like a pro, launch into jumps Version chat absolutely hates me. The chat rinses me. RC car. Toy I like it really. Banger alert. Dark goes woof. Cat goes meow, bird goes tweet, and the mouse goes squeak. Cat
Cow goes moo, frog goes croak, and the elephant goes toot. Ducks say quack, and fish go blob, and the seal goes ow, ow, ow. But there's one sound that no one knows. Wait for it. What does the fox say? Ding, ding. Anyway, that's really loud in my ears. I think it's the best version. I think it's the best version. Uh, I had to actually control myself from just fucking raving. Um, oh my God, the Bing Bong song. I'd forgotten about that as well. Oh, sorry, version M, you are the best version. How could I? I just love the different things that apparently foxes say. Um, anyway, apologies to people. Uh, just apologies to people. Any people in the chat today, apologies. I like the, I like the Justin Fletcher version. I feel quite protective of Justin Fletcher, um, weirdly, because I went to a family, like a distance cousin's family party thing. That, yeah. Anyway, um, and somebody said, uh, some some old person was like, oh yeah, Mr. Tumble, oh, he's a wrong'un. I was like, what? what? And he was like, well, he's a wrong'un, isn't he? You know, just hanging out with the kids. I was like, what? What What are you talking about? Some people are just good with kids and like playing with kids. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on. But my message was, um, I don't get that. When people, people like see people who are kids entertainers or people who interact with kids for a living and then they get all weird about it. I wasn't planning on going down this route when I started talking about Justin Fletcher. Let's do some hurdles, shall we? Is there anything else I wanted to talk about? Show us your stuff. Oh, shit. I'm going to be on holiday this week, next week even, from Saturday to Saturday. So... um I want to start getting plans in for the next Shirsty stuff. We haven't done one for ages. And that's a problem. Um, so we're going to do it very soon. And we're going to do... There's been a bit of chat. There was some chat in Discord. There was some different suggestions. We're probably going to do um, like old T-shirts or like merchandise, band merchandise or just old T-shirts or stuff like that. Um, but Wasps Kill Bears suggested... mugs so we're going to do mugs if you've got any novelty mugs get them ready get a photo of them send them to me um i don't think i've got the email set up anymore have i yeah i have look there it is show us your stuff please at gmail.com send me a picture of your favorite mug it sounds tame it sounds a bit shit to be honest but it's going to be good um i want to you know there's going to be some stories there's going to be a, like an ancient mug that you've got from your great great granddad that he used to have to do poos in during the war and you've kept it or something um so please send me those pictures um what shows your stuff it's it's a little thing i do where you show us your stuff okay i'll play the vid show us your stuff 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 that is one of the best ones, isn't it? Simple. Simple and short. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of my own video. Um, what age did your kids realise Justin Fletcher is Mr. Tumble? I don't know. I don't know if we've realised that. My six-year-old has now moved on from watching a lot of kids' TV and just watch it, likes to watch all the crazy cooking shows on Netflix and different like challenge shows. Um, is it cake? 
who's watched Is It Cake? That's quite good. That is actually quite good. It's got a guy on there, a comedian who presents it, who is from Saturday Night Live. I was talking about not knowing anyone from Saturday Night Live. I didn't know who he was. I wasn't sure about him initially, but he's actually dead good. Um, and obviously the people on there are really talented. So I recommend that. And that's good family viewing. Uh, Operation U Tree ruined a lot of people's trust in kids' TV presenters. It's mad though, isn't it? Because that's like... Yeah. Not going to continue. Not all adults who play with kids are wrong and some of people are just nice. I nearly went down that route, Sparkle Muffin, but I didn't know if Pip was lurking. And there you go. I took my goddaughter backstage at Festival to meet Mr. Tumble. She absolutely froze, bottled it, prick. <laughs> That would be mad. That's like um, when I interviewed Maddie Moat about her podcast. Some of you will know who Maddie Moat is and, and most of you won't. Um, in fact, she's in the Church of Stuff video. She's the one uh, on the us bit. Let's, let's check that out a bit. Again, check, keep a little eye out for the us section. Show us your stuff. Show us your stuff. Show us your stuff. I said us section. It's, it, you, you saw her. She was holding a book. It's not the us section. It's just on my phone. Um, I'm doing that so you can't see all the photos. For some reason, it's there as the us bit. Anyway, Maddie Mo, I interviewed. And uh, she and her fiancé, I think, who's a scientist and presenter, did these amazing things, the amazing YouTube shows during lockdown called... Um, holy fuck what's it it wasn't called holy fuck what was it called let's go live where they just went live on youtube every day of the week and they did different science experiments and they gave tasks and it was really good it was really cool when all the schools were closed um and she presents a show called how is it made or oh, fucking hell i'm forgetting everything um but she's a dead good kids tv presenter and when I spoke to her, I asked her if she'd leave a little message or do um, record a little message for my daughter, which she did, but the recording had stopped. So I didn't get it. So then I emailed back her agent and was like, I'm really sorry, but Maddie recorded a little message for my daughter and it didn't go through. Do you reckon she'd do it again? And the agent was like, sure, 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 sure. Didn't hear anything for about a week. And any normal person would probably be like, oh, fair enough, um, that's not going to work. So um, obviously she's too busy or whatever. But I was like, fuck it. And I emailed again. I said, where the fuck is my video, you cunt? No, I said, um, hello, sorry, is there any chance I could have my video? I think that's the first time I've said this, the C word on stream, guys. Is there any chance I could have my video? Um, because my daughter is um, would like it. And, sorry, I'm trying to find it on my phone. Probably shouldn't show it, should I? Um, she sent one back. I'll show you the first few seconds. Alex, it's Maddie from CVBs. A little while ago, I was lucky to record a podcast with your dad, and he said that you... Anyway, she's amazing. And my daughter, when I went to show that to her, totally froze just like um pip's goddaughter seeing mr tumble she didn't want to see it i was like here's the video i've got a video from maddie and it's to you and she was like i don't want to see it i don't want to see it she was freaking out she couldn't get the fact that maddie was a real person that was talking to her she didn't want to see it for months and it's like only after about six months did she um she was open to seeing it and then i press it um, and press play and as soon as it went hi Alex it's Maddie she was like turn it off turn it off anyway she's now uh, she now has watched it a couple of times but yeah Maddie Mo if you have kids you'll, you'll know but if you know kids or if you ever have to look after if you know kids hey guys if you know kids or you ever have to look after some kids and you don't just want to shove them in front of shit telly Go to Maddie Moat's YouTube channel and there's loads of amazing educational stuff on there. Okay.
let's do some hurdles. Oh, let's catch up on what you lot are saying. Mr. Tumble is a big celebrity, there's no doubt. He must be pretty loaded. Too many high arousal emotions. Same thing happened to me with Fred Dynage. Fred Dynage, RIP. You swear like a sailor around your daughter and she still doesn't swear. Do you know what's great? Back here. We don't swear around our uh, our kid, our, our daughter. We try not to. Um, but the other day, she uh, came up to us and she was like, um, I... I, I know a swear word and we were like oh god oh no oh god what is it and she went am I going to be in trouble if I say it and we were like no no this is like this is fine it's cool you'll learn these words and it's all right and sometimes um there are more appropriate than other times to say them and sometimes um using some of these words can be quite funny but some of them are very rude and some of them you should never say uh and we've had a lot of chat about that kind of stuff when it comes to talking about poo and Anyway, she was like, okay, I'm going to say it. And I was like, okay. And I was expecting it to be shit or fuck or something. And she just went, shart. And we just cracked up. We we're like, shart? How, what? Who said shart? Who's been talking about shart? And we were just like, that's fine. I mean, don't, don't go around saying it loads, but it's not that bad. <laughs> Shart. What's the definition of shart? Let's find out. I was about to type just chatting then. Shart. Is it Is it like shit in your pants? Expel feces accidentally when breaking wind. There you go. Thought so. It's when you do a fart bark there. There you go. It's it's vulgar slang, guys. It's just vulgar. That's what we need to teach her. It's vulgar. An instance of accidentally expelling feces when breaking wind. Okay. I think that's kind of what we explained her, to it, her. I think that's what we explained it as to her. Fucking hell. Look at you lot, sharp experts in the chat. Blaketown, Mr. Tumble lives near me. He's pretty tireless in working with disabled kids in the local community. Seems an impossibly sound bloke. Yeah. I love the fact that in his main show... They always have disabled kids. Morning, Walls. I'm just looking up the definition of shark because it's the first swear word that my six-year-old said. She's like, I know a swear word. It's shark. <laughs> and then we say shark every so often. She's like, Daddy, don't say that. To be honest, shark was never a thing I ever said before. Uh, she reintroduced it to my life anyway perfect timing walls you're just here just in time to guess duran duran um sorry let me check if i've got i need to sort out my desktop audio again classic you can hear that right you don't have double audio there should all be good Say you say me. For God's sake, Chronicles. Uh, I used to ironically love Lionel Richie when I was at college, when I was about 16, 17, and thought it was a cool thing to do, to go to like people's parties Um discos and request Lionel Richie and then at one point I made myself a Lionel Richie t-shirt with the iron on transfer Lionel Richie on the front and then on the back I just wrote Fiesta Fiever, Forever and I thought that was cool and clever and interesting Dancing Pancake how you doing thank you for the follow Yeah, Darcy, I did it. Cheddar, it's funny that she said a swear word around you. 
and now you're saying it a lot and she's probably thinking I have to stop swearing around these kids they keep picking up the words yeah it's true Blake Town see you later training a youngling at work put all my channel points on no when the crossword comes up yeah I heard I've heard I've seen some chat that this is a difficult crossword but I'm confident um am I going to keep up with this spreadsheet am I going to keep up having a spreadsheet of who's got hurdles right I don't think I will you know it's, bit, it's almost totally pointless uh anyway 90s I guess now it's time for me to give up. Take that. Which one is it? Back for good. That is a tune. That is a tune. I remember... I remember that sort of getting to me when that came out. Being like, I kind of feel emotional. This has kind of got me in the feels and I don't really know what, what, what I'm feeling right now. Um... Why do I keep going back to this? Shut. Let's do noughties. I'm always being got in the feels, it's true. It's very easy to get me in the feels. Panic at the disco. I write sins, not tragedies. I remember hearing that for the first time and being like, what the fuck is this shit? then really getting into it and then buying that album and really getting into it oh, well imagine as I'm pacing the pews. and then kind of not really enjoying much of their other output um sharp there's a definition definition of sharp let's do naughty this is your sexiest line hurdle classic hurdle oh that's nirvana isn't it mm. Which one is it? It's lithium. There you go. I got three. Well, why isn't it playing? I can't hear that, can you? I can't hear anything, so don't worry, you're not missing. Spotify have fucked it. Spotify.com, you've absolutely fucked it. Uh, I kind of want to do more hurdles. Let's do the crossword instead. So bright. Oh my shit. Oh my shit. Just, oh my shit, guys. I just clicked through without even thinking. Right, so crossword. Let's do the prediction. I didn't read any of the clues then. I just realized I'd opened it up. Oh my shit. <laughs> prediction. Start prediction. Will I complete the crossword in three minutes? Uh, I'm going to give you one minute to predict. Why isn't it letting me do it? Select start prediction. Oh, Lumberchan Gaming, would you rather swim in a swimming pool of warm piss or cold piss? See, I like to try and think about this each time, but I've got, no, I got nothing more to give this question. I've got nothing more to give this question. And now when I give an answer, I'm not even thinking about it, and I, uh, it's probably not even an accurate answer. Uh, cold piss, cold piss. Frolicals, thank you so much for your question. Um, have the bins been collected? Yes, the bins in this in terms of the, the bins that were out in the street were collected. My bin, not so much. My bin, I didn't put out in time. I didn't do it last night because I was confident I'd do it this morning. And then they came earlier than normal. They came like an hour early. But it was recycling, and now I've got two weeks until the next recycling collection, and I'm away on holiday next week, so it's fine. It's not stuff that's going to go smelly and there's going to be maggots. It's just a load of cardboard in a bin. Um, 
thanks for your question, Frolicals. Not much confidence today. 4.96, was that what it was at? 8.92, fuck. Llama, you've gone big, have you? Oh my God, right. This is, all right, I'm gonna have to do it just so Llama loses all their points. In all the bin chat, you forgot to bet. Frolicals, you made a big mistake there asking that question at that time. Right, hide chat. Um, we're going to do the New York Times crossword. The mini, okay? This isn't their ma their big one. I think they've got a big proper one, a big grown-up one you can do if you want to do. This is the mini one. Joel Fagliano's our guy. He writes it every single day for the stream. Um, I'm going to try and get all the answers in there within three minutes. What I'm going to try and do is not panic. Three minutes is quite a long time. I can't see chat. Let me, sorry, let me actually bring up chat and uh, so I can scroll down and not have to do loads of scrolling up. <sighs> Rumour has it, it's a tough one. Let's do it. Cozy place for a cat. Bin, four, with seven across, breezy summer books, no. Increased, no. C, four across, no. Candy from a dispenser. Gum, could be gum. Quite often they have gum. Might try that in a bit. Down, South American capital, whose name means the peace. Ah, fuck it. Uh, scored perfectly on. Oh, guys, major academic achievements for short. Hmm. Rude dinner table sound. Burp. Fencing blade. Oh, shit. It's not... Ah, oh, this came up. Didn't this come up before somewhere? I think this happened on Llama Stream. Something to do with fencing. Fencing blade. What's a foil? Because foil is four words. Foil is something within fencing. But I don't think it's the blade. But it is four letters, sorry. So that could be foil. Uh, where are we? If that could be burp, I should just type stuff in, shouldn't I? And that could be gum. So if that's burp, that's not gum. Candy from a dispenser. Right, let's just type in some stuff we think we might know. It's going to be burp, isn't it? And then let's see if this could be foil. No, it can't be because uh, BF. So it's not foil. And that might not be burp. Shall I just pay out? Shall I just pay out? Cozy place for a cat. Bed? I mean, bed's too easy, surely. Oh, I mean, that's a shit clue for bed, isn't it? Four across. Let's see if burp is workable. With seven across, breezy summer books. Okay. Breezy summer books. Right. Right. Wind... Summer books. What would you read in the summer? Oh, I don't fucking know. Everything is shit. Six across. Increased. I might pay out. I've got 45 seconds. Should we just try and get words that can fit in anyway? Major academic achievement. This might be the worst I've ever done. Major academic achievements for short. Don't know what that is. Scored perfectly on. That's too, I don't know. Fencing blade, I don't know what it is, but I will know when I see it. South American capital, whose name means the peace. That, I will, again, will know that when I see it. That's handy, isn't it? It's good to know stuff after after the event. That's really good. I've got eight seconds left. Can't even write count properly. Oh, I don't want to come back. I don't want to come back to chat. Let's pay you out. <sighs> Enjoy your points or your massive amount of points, Llama. Will I complete the crossword? No. Oh, dear.
Halo's deserved. Just seen you were up for doing the 1D hurdle. <laughs> Maybe one day. Um, right, here we go. B, I, m I missed you were in. I missed your message. Maybe if I'd read that before I started, I would have done better. Almost certainly not. One, one of the clues is bullshit today, Llama. I think you'll find all of the clues are bullshit. Uh, that that's the worst I've ever done. Bin. Oh yeah, sorry, that's what I suggest. Aced. What's that? Scored perfectly on. EP. Oh, EP. That's it, isn't it? I remember this now. EP. Is it burp? So what would that be? Eight across candy. Pez. That's why Pez was said. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm looking along. So Darcy got EP. Foils, EPs and Sabres. I did have a Pez, but do you know what I was thinking from a dispenser? For some reason, I was thinking of one of those, like a bubblegum machine and you put in a coin and turn a thing and it drops into the little metal door way I did have Pez dispensers in fact I think I've got I had some Pez sweets in my drawer up until a week ago when uh, my daughter found them they were just sitting there waiting for me to get a dispenser lap which one's lap lap cosy place for a cat so true. So true. The Breezy Summer Books is such a bullshit clue, said Llama. Upped. What's that one? Six. Increased. Okay, fair enough. Oh, fuck off. Fair enough. Bed has fucked him. Uh, burp opened it up for me. Got Pez, then La Paz. La Paz. Oh, is that the place? Right, okay actually genuinely haven't even heard of La Paz. I mean, probably have. Um, I think I've said that before. Ah, oh dear. That crossword was a T-can today. Oh, walls, 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 walls. Thank you so much for your question. Would you rather instantly jizz every time you piss or instantly piss every time you jizz? Um, I did, I'd prefer to instantly piss every time I jizz, please. I think that would could be acceptable and there'd be people out there who would be fine with that happening. Um, whereas the other way around would be fucking awkward all the time, like horrendous when you're in public. Imagine just like, going to a service station just popping in for a waz before you get back on the road all those lorry drivers morning Funkle Albert how you doing right are we even there version only watches for piss chat I think wife 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 would understand that decision and I think if she had the choice, she'd choose the same. Beach Reads is the book's one. Absolutely load of shit. Oh, fuck off. Fuck, fuck, fuck off. Reads. Beach Reads. Beach Reads isn't, I mean, is it a phrase? That is a shit crossword. Can I click on Joel's name? Can't even spell it. No, not the article. I just want his picture. What were you thinking, Joe? Yeah, I'm going to call you Joe. 
when it's a shit crossword day, I'll fucking call you Joe. Hate him. Okay, so. Um, what are we going to do? We're probably going to play Stanley Parable now. We're going to finish it. I say finish it. I just don't think I'm going to play it for many more than two two streams. Um, look at this, 2013. It was doing. It's been doing crosswords for years. Then he had a little crossword team, mate. Look at the pair of them. Oh, and then he struck out on his own. I wonder what happened. I wonder if they're still mates. What's the other guy's name? Caleb. Let's see if he does crosswords for a rival paper. Fuck's sake. I still can't get my head around pressing the right button to uh, control and copy and control and paste. Even though I remapped them, I had to change it back. Oh, he writes for The Atlantic. Ah, oh, he's the crossword puzzle editor at The Atlantic. Holy shit. Well, where, where's your crossword? Where's your, where's your crossword? Atlantic Caleb Madison crossword. Meet the Atlantic's new crossword puzzle guru. I don't want to meet him. I just want to do his crossword. Please. Here we go. <gasps> Paolo. Each week, crossword editor Caleb Madison takes a deep dive into what makes his favourite entry in that week's puzzles. I don't care about that. I don't want a newsletter about crosswords. I just want to see. What? Paolo. Where's Caleb's? Fuck it, let's do Paolo's. Right, fuck it, we're doing it. We're doing it, we're doing it. Right, boom. Oh no, this is going to be too long. And it's, it's something about a DC film. We're not doing it. All right, let's do uh, Stanley Parable. Let's do... Uh, where have I done, what have I done with OBS now? I've fucking minimised it. Cancel. Um, I'll get back onto this. Are you guys all chatting about the crossword? Joel Sadliano. They had crosswords. Nice, Darcy. Funkel Albert. Mm, late. Morning, Guzbo. How you doing? Guzbo. Let's have a shout out for Guzbo. I believe Guzbo is going to be streaming tonight. Was going to be streaming last night. Didn't have Red M installed. So it's going to be back as the professor in Red Dead Redemption RP tonight. It's, oh, version. So sorry. Oh, here we go. I was wondering about this. So when I first logged in, I had to enter the time, the current time, and it had no effect on the game. And they just asked me to do it again. Although I've realized I haven't got, I think I've turned the game audio all the way down. Actually, no, I never got to that bit. Anyway, a lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock and I appreciate that. That's how I know you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're saying are correct. They are, trust trust me. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, frog. next time you boot up the game and see this screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. 23 minutes to two in the afternoon. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. Exactly, Frolicles. I already did it, mate. I already did it. 
Lama Chan, 420. Typical. 2.30 dentist time. Any other favourite times? Any genuine favourite times? Does anybody have a time of the day where they genuinely look at the clock and be like, fuck, I love this. This is just such a great time. 22.22 is the prettiest minute. Bedtime. Moody Bins, what is bedtime for you? 1am. 1am is pretty classic. Oh shit, I'm just talking about whether or not time's a classic. Oh God, is this what it's come to? Home time. In bed by 11, asleep by 12. That, I, I aspire to be like that. 5 p.m. from Greta Yetta. Hello, Greta Yetta, welcome along. Thank you so much for getting involved. 5 p.m., is that because that's, that is a classic time actually. I think most of us are conditioned to think 5, 5 p.m. is a good time because it means home time for a lot of jobs, a lot of nine till five jobs. 3 p.m., everyone's conditioned to think 3 p.m. is a good time because that's when school finishes. Oh, we're getting a lot, we're actually getting quite a lot out of this, so let's, let's keep mining the time content. 9.09, says Funkle Albert. 22.30, I agree actually, Lama, that's surprising. Halo, every day I count down to 22.22, I'm not even kidding. When it was 22.22 on the 22nd of February 2022 on a Tuesday, I cried, that's how much I love it. Every day you're counting down, so what does that mean? Are you like counting out loud? Do you wake up, sit at the table and just do an out loud countdown until it gets to 22 past 10 at night? Or do you have a countdown on your phone? Fifteen fifty-two. For some reason, that's a good time. One, two, three, four is something I've never even considered. Fluffy. Twelve thirty-four. Greta Yetta just knows this is the place to be. Thank you for the follow. We'll do days at some point. Favorite days, months. Halo, lay in bed waiting for twenty-two, twenty-two, and then go to sleep after. Right. Okay. Do whatever. Good. Just do whatever during the day. Try and put it out of your mind. <laughs> Dai Tai, don't jump the gun, okay? We need to save that content for another day. Don't jump the gun. We're not doing days yet. We're doing times. Thank you. Um, lay in bed waiting for 2022 and then go to sleep. You must be so well rested every day. I'm, a, I'm going on holiday next week and I'm really looking forward to not staying up late and watching Twitch every night and if I do do that then that is not good that's that's not good but a week off getting to sleep at a decent time I'm down I'm down for it 118 the number of patch you got left all right I think we're done I think we're done I, was, I thought we were done and I just can't stop reading about times. Don't sleep until 1am. Right. <gasps> Why does it say begin the game? Uh, I saved it last time, didn't I? If we've got to start again, I'm not going to do it. No, but if we're starting again, again, if it's like from the start, then I'm not doing it. Okay. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number it's a bit of a head fuck this game, job isn't it? Was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. 
Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push. We have watched all this before, push, but some people won't push. have. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very might peculiar skip. happened. Welcome back. Achievement unlocked. Welcome back. Okay. I mean, if you weren't here for the first stream, uh, I could try and give you an update or like rundown of what happened, but... Uh, All but of his co-workers were gone. Basically... What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's just a head fuck in an office. New, new content. No, Domella, I thought I was starting all over again. Ah. I don't know what's happening, Dom Domella. But look, we've got new, new content. We had the new content. Now we've got new, new content. This is great, isn't it? Look at that sign. Let's do it. Let's just fucking do it. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. We're going to get crushed again. It's true, I am. Paranoid now. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. <laughs> the original Stanley parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Uh -oh. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. Shit. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Testing two printers at the same time. I'm back on board. I'm back on board. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra <laughs> Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. What's happening? It's another big office. It's a nicer office. It's got it's gone for that sort of modern industrial feel everyone loves it a bit of brushed concrete a bit of unbrushed concrete just a load of concrete old and busted new hotness <laughs> that is a good chart Color red. One sec, I just need to move my screen because I'm covering a bit of chat again. Can't have chat being covered up. Mm. 
Look at these logo ideas. Oh, I like five. <gasps> Two Stanleys. Those doors just opened. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally <laughs> spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything oh. scientific or logical, really. Just seeing the word scrum has just sent shivers down my spine. Daitai Fighter and I did a, f a lot of scrums together when we worked at an agency together. And I believe Daitai Fighter, that has carried on to be a part of your life. I've been scrumless for, for about 10 years now. But the first time I ever did a scrum was with the world's worst boss. Oh, God. It was basically stand up and just say what you're doing. Is what we did in our scrums. Anyway, two ears, two eyes, two nostrils, two arms, two legs. <sighs> I genuinely had a chat on a train the other day with like a three-year-old boy I'd never met before in my life who sat next to me on the train. The one who uh, was dropping his melting Solero all over his leg and I had to wipe up his leg. Um... And we were talking about the fact that we all had two ears, two eyes, two nostrils, two arms, two legs. And uh, and then he said, and you've got two hair. And I was like, whoa. Uh, and that was it. Because we all do. I mean, all of us have at least two hairs on our body. Sequels are good. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Batman Arkham Asylum 2, Divinity Original Sin 2, Doom 2, Aladdin 2, Return of Jafar, Dark Souls 2. This way to the show floor. Look at this, this is great. Red carpet. I'm enjoying this new environment. Agile Scrum Prince 2. Oh, God. Stand-ups. Should we have a stand-up? Hey, guys, should, should we have a stand-up at 4.55 p.m.? This is great. Look at that solo red stool. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. This looks so good. What should we do? The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. Let's do that then. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? That is good. Oh yeah, I forgot the yesterday bit. Yesterday I did some design stuff, today I'm going to do some design stuff. Uh, and that's uh, as soon as this is over I'm going to sit down put my headphones on and ignore everyone apart from in our group chat on MSN Messenger where we'll be mostly slagging you off uh, and chatting shit here we go what's it going to actually say Jim sorry I should have clarified Right now, the <laughs> button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. 
sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. But how are you going to troll me, narrator? It's going to be a different name now, isn't it? I've never felt more Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. Okay. Jim. Ooh. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let me press Let's take again. a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. I'm pressing it again. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. Never. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, soon Jim. you'll start to Jim. lose all Jim. sense of who Jim. you actually Jim. are. Jim. Jim. Okay, I'm into that. That is a good new feature. Die Die Fighter's gone for a stand up. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. We'll do this in a bit. Oh, should we just do it now? How do you, like, when you're in, like, these open world games like this where you've got lots of multiple options, how do you guys do it? Do you die, like,. Do you dart all over the place and risk forgetting what you've done, or do you just do stuff clockwise? I've kind of tempted just to do door after door after door. What would Jim do? There's loads of places to go, guys. Do it in the correct one. Go in the correct order. A whole new office. Red is the new orange. The new updated ray traced. You're hearing that, aren't you? You're hearing the classic mobile by a radio sound. Freaked me out for a sec. Look, glanced at my phone. I haven't heard that for ages. Please, no screenshots. I can't even remember how to do screenshots on this fucking Mac keyboard. Um. It features new contents, new ideas. The button that says the name of the player that's playing the game. Jump sir, circle, infinite hole. Okay. Reassurance bucket. Merch. Look at that. That would be quite good to have I saw the new content t-shirt in real life. No, Frodicles, I've just got my Mac keyboard plugged into the PC. I didn't. I haven't bought. I don't. Want, I'm not going to bother having two keyboards. QR code. Let's do it. StanleyParable2.com. It takes us to. Watch our helpful, informative video to learn more about the Stanley Parable and what the journey of becoming a sequel is all about. Uh, it's like a website for this experience, basically, which is pretty cool. Thank you so much, Greta Yetta. That's very kind of you. Look, my alerts are all fixed, thanks to Llama. The text is in the right place and is the right typeface. Right, reassurance bucket. Thank you, Llama. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, comes. anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. 
Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. So much chatting, narrator. Come on. <laughs> Can you feel it? <laughs> the glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. Let me and out, let fact, me out, let me out. Can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Let me out. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. As if, as if. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Another farting door. Your doors sound like farts. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. What does it mean? Okay, I'll be honest, oh. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in that. the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? <laughs> Hello, bollocking passwords. How are you doing today? What melon have you eaten today? What? Oh, okay. Get well someday. Happy 12th birthday, step niece. Happy 12th birthday, step niece. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday, it fucks. Fucking shitty narrator. One of your balloons got stuck. Ha 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 ha. Still there. <laughs> Fine. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with. No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. We're going to go through this one. I've decided. We're going to go through this door here. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Got nectarine left, but no melon. BP. You need to get yourself to the shops. This is grey, isn't it, in here? I'd like to visit this. Taking screenshots in Windows with an Apple keyboard. To take a screenshot of the entire screen, just press Function and Shift and F11. To take a screenshot of the active window, just press Option and Function and Shift and F11. Okay, let me, pra let me practice. Let me just do a little bit of rehearsal for when the time comes. Um, sorry, I never press the Function button. Function, Shift... F11. Don't think anything happened. Thanks, Rollicals, for looking. I think I googled that before, actually, and nothing happened. Uh, let's just have a quick look to see if anything's gone into my pictures. Nope. I've just got a load of screenshots of... Uh, oh. Screenshots of my OBS settings. Right. Okay. Tomella, it's bad enough having to move the mouse and keyboard each time over from my Mac to my PC. Can you imagine how bad that is? Um, let alone having to have two keyboards. I suppose that means I could just keep one of them plugged in. But then I'm just going to have, have like two keyboards. It'd be like walking around with two pairs of sunglasses on my face. Would it be like that? It would be a bit like that. You've got to give me that. It's a bit It's a bit like that. Get the Logitech MX Master Series. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't want to be little Timmy Two keyboards. You know what, Stanley? I actually think the jump Yay. circle was a pretty good idea. I'd like to hang on to that for the sequel. Last time I didn't use up all my jumps. Today I, I am going to lose. I'm going to use up all my jumps. Okay, that's the jumping done. Settings world champion. Okay, we might have to look at that. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Um, The stream elements have just reminded you how to sign up with uh, Prime Gaming. If you need more info, here it is. Open up gaming.amazon.com. Sign into your account or go set up a new one. Choose a payment method, complete the transaction. You're on your way to giving me that Prime Stop satisfaction. Now open up your Twitch accounts on the Amazon site Enter in your details, be sure to get them right I'll be succinct, your accounts now linked so we're nearly done You've done the prep, now one more step while admin is fun Alright stop, this next bit is key and you've got to get it right if you're subbing to me Go to twitch.tv forward slash add 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 to send me cash Click subscribe then free subscription with Prime Oh fuck, you've done it, you are the best, your face of streamers is sublime. One more thing, do not forget that in just one month's time, your sub will expire unless you renew again with Prime. Your resub would be awesome, if you do it I'll be glad. Make your own decisions though, cause I'm not your dad. I'm not your dad. Tomella, there's no way I'm going to ditch the apple fully. I couldn't ditch the apple, cause I really love fruit. Fruits. No, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm not going to do back-to-back -back vids. Um, what else haven't we done? Free, new, and easy achievement. I'm not ditching. I, I use my Mac for like most of the day. It, I've got everything perfectly set up on there. It works amazing for my life and my career. It's done me, the Macs have done me amazingly for 20 years. It's just when I wanted to do a stream. It's when I wanted to do streaming that I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do the job properly. Exactly, I have to have a Mac. You can't do design or anything like podcasts on any other type of computer. <laughs> Free achievement, get yours right now. Pull the lever, receive your new achievement. No more steps, it just works. Okay, here we go. Let's go pull a lever. No sound. Fucking no sound. And when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Thanks, Slama. It's because I was getting, I don't know why I was getting, when I play the videos I get double desktop audio, so I turned off the desktop audio for that. Anyway, ditch it for streaming fully, says Domella. I don't think I could ever ditch everything. I think I like the idea of that, that it's, it's a romantic idea just to stream full time, but in reality, I, w I think I need to, and I would want to keep my toe in the water of actually continuing like my career and stuff like that <laughs> because in let's say 10 years time i might not want to be doing streaming then people might not want to watch an old man streamer okay I, perhaps I know proof I against that. this is technology that will exist right now the achievement is still fully broken i'm not a wizard stanley but i guarantee it will be fixed <laughs> in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of oh, fans mean. all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. 
Oh, no, 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 not what I meant. Nobody wants that, do they, really? <laughs> yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it? I, honestly, that has crossed my mind when I first started streaming. I was like, fucking hell, this is great fun. Imagine doing it full time. I think my main problem would it would be just sitting down and sitting still for that much of time. What else? And it's what pretty other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Mentally tiring. What else haven't we seen yet? We haven't seen the um Let's go back over here. We haven't seen the settings world champion thing. Which is back out in the main arena. Well, we haven't done this. Grandad, grandad, grandad. Oh, guys. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. <laughs> oh, weird. Look at this. Do I put them in my little bucket? <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I thought we were going to get to have a little nap. Can I go back in? No. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. So I should do a screenshot, shouldn't I? Although I can't, still can't work out how to do it, so maybe we don't do that. Um, we went in here. Yes. I reckon there are actually six of them. We've done the bucket. I haven't tried these doors. Done the epilogue. Let's look at that map again. See where we should be heading. The settings world champion thing should apparently be just here. Here, right? Okay, let's see what else is on the map. Jump circle done. This map. Well, that's where we're at. Free achievement done. The button that says the name of the player done. Merch, we've seen that. Settings World Champion, we just went there. Reassurance bucket done. Office decorations done. Epilogue done. Collectibles done. Infinite hole, we haven't done. So we did, and then we'll do the exit. K and E. So K is all the way over there. Oh, right, okay. Didn't even spot that before. And then where's E? On the other side. There. There and there. worked it out wow map reading skills can we look in here oh, it's just that this fucking bucket whoa <laughs> rim more hole <laughs> it just keeps going okay in we go 
Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a go up. Get in the hole. Should we agree on how long we'll do this for? If we fall, it's like an hour? Should we do it for an hour? If we just fall for an hour? Let's do it. Ugh. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Not gonna. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Not gonna, not gonna, not gonna. You can't make me. You can ask nicely. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? I don't know if I want to well, die and end up back in the office. on your definition of infinity. Might press G just From before I get there. From one the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, okay. good for you. I'm you found dead. the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look... I think the issue here is just that you're out. unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Come on. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated Come on. there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Let me out. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. It does use a lot of words, doesn't he, the narrator? Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. <laughs> Mostly. Do you reckon we should go back in, Frolicals? Let's see what happens. I agree. Wait. Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? It I couldn't did. help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm nope. positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing, we're so predictable, aren't I? Wow. Okay. Yes. Come on. I'm starting to become extremely certain. Let me press G. We'll do it again. The hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even I think by you're the right. lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. 
Oh, I can't get out. Who am I to judge? I have to press you G just again. do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button An when you're ready to Or a column, as they're normally called. Hmm. It's not working. Is the um, teleport button not working? It's not working. You sure? Yes. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. It's not working. Press Still G. Still nothing. Well, I suppose... Uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. Don't you get dick. to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. Fucking me in a hole in a bucket. See, I'd like it if there was a little puzzle for me to get out, but it's just... I've just got to wait and see what they decide is going to happen. You do love the hole, don't you, Llama? <gasps> I am the hole. Every pause button is a Roman numeral two. I'm going deep. We're going deep in the hole together. Put my bucket down. <laughs> what the fuck? Change your perception. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Let's change perception again. What did the fuck say? Change your reality. Guys, I hope you're all okay. <laughs> this is amazing. My head's stronger. Now you're no longer. Change myself again. <laughs> Change my reality again. <gasps> my head's stronger. Now you're no longer. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the puppy? Show me the puppies. Stanley. Stanley. No. Stanley. Oh, oh don't it make me stop. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. Boo. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. Get me back you down there. Miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? No, don't. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodlepip. I'm definitely taking up smoking because there's a lot. There's a lot of tobacco left in those, uh, those stubs there. Or those rollies. It's all going to be roach. Fuck it. Let's take up smoking. I just want to go in the hole for the, ne for the next hour or so. I, t I said that. I said that we could do it for an hour.
Right. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. I kind of agree. I think straight back to the hole, right? Same. Same, 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 same. Hole, 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 hole. Whole gang. Let's do it. <laughs> Brim. I li I oh, Halo. You're about to see an incre... Oh, I can't go in. We just did some great hole-based stuff, Halo. Let me in. Boo. I want to ditch the bucket, Funkle Albert. I really do. There'll be something. There'll be a way of ditching it at some point. They took the hole from us. We can't open the door. Should we do this again? Um, I mean, in some ways it was like an asshole Halo, but in the most ways it wasn't. <laughs> Everything isn't going to work now, is it? It's going to be shut off or something, I don't know. So the hole we can't do. That's all we want to do. We could just do the exit now. We've done everything else. Let's just see if there's anything different in here. And if there isn't... No, that's all locked off again. Maybe we just leave. I think we leave. I'm leaving. <gasps> I can't leave. Oh, it's up there. Okay, fine. Finite all along. That was the best. That was my favourite part of the game so far. Easy. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on yep. now? We'll always have the hole, guys. We experience hole together. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's Just get me in that of... hole. Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy <laughs> creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. You love gags, don't you, narrator? I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all gags. the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. That is funny, Greta. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. 
Oh, look at this. Oh, listen to that. That is... That is... That might be the closest I've ever come to SMR type arousal from a click. Bear with me for a minute. Fuck, that was nice. Uh, cold, I think, Big this Tough Man. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in balloons. a big building where he balloons. was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, Get well or someday. even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of the Here we office. go again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket. Kind of regret that. Fine. Fucking bucket again. Just couldn't help it. It was instinctive. <gasps> That's the new content door. The new content door is is it's no longer new content. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his Let's go. chest Let's go. and entered the door on his left. I just picked it up automatically. See a bucket, pick it up. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Anything happening in the broom Stanley, cupboard? Stanley, can you feel it? No sign the of Andy Crane. Closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as coming to a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Fluffy, do you want me to sing fruit salad for your electrician again? Executive bathroom. Farty doors. The first step. Peel your bananas. Is he, is he or she or they nearby? Office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. All right, all right, Big Tap, The man. bucket would. And he knew it. It's true. The two of them were inseparable. What's the code again? At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. Not far off, Sparkle Muffin. Frolicles, you're ridiculous. How do you remember everything? You're a ridiculous. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. <laughs> I can't 
can't actually remember what we... Is, wasn't this just the exit? I can't really remember what happened here. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing ah, him, yeah. comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door Stanley that read the bucket. Mind Control Facility. Put the bucket on our head, is that what we're thinking? The lights rose so they can't on an our enormous mind. room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. This is going to be more than two streams, isn't it? I'm going to be playing this again. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. <laughs> Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do? or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. What is gonna happen with the bucket? No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. I'd read out some of these chat comments if the fucking narrator wasn't banging on about stuff the whole time. Llama, there's a place in South America you go to take ayahuasca, ayahuasca and they give you a bucket and tell you to call it your amigo because you need it for all the sick you do. I think it's based on the that. Proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labelled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it no. monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Come on. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way. And the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Let's do it. Loud. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the oh, evil mind a lot control mystery. machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. <laughs> Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. <laughs> True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. <gasps> I want to sneeze on every, what was in every country on Earth. Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming the presence bucket of out. the bucket. Needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. Would go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. 
Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. It's part cool. That's the problem with this game, isn't it? At some point I'll have to do it without picking up the bucket and see what happened. Right now, basically. Bollocking Pastor has just remembered you had a purple bucket. A proper outdoor bucket. He left it at an ex's years ago. That is sad. This is hot. This is very uh, Hitchhiker's Guide Llama. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. Wasn't the bucket there? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps oh, he had simply missed a memo. Okay, I won't pick up the bucket. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, same he again. entered the door on his left. Do I want to do the same again? Yeah. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Farty door. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication what of was any again? human life. Shocked. Two, eight, four, five. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Thanks, Stanley guys. was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That I'm, I'm actually zoning you out a fair bit. Healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. You're saying some good stuff, but quite often I'm zoning out on parts of it. It's fine, I don't need to relax. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Yes, it's raining. Thanks for your question, Frolicles. I can even hear it. <gasps> yes! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. We've got to get you all six of these now. You can sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savour each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. 71% hot ears. Oh, I'd say... Well, I can't argue. Can't argue, can I? Let's get in this lift. Um, Lama Chan Gaming, thank you so much for your question. 500 points redeemed to ask me anything, and you chose to ask me, is it raining in your heart? No, actually. I think there's just a deep fog. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mine... Greta, thank you so much. That is a lovely message. Uh, it was lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for the bits. You're a hero. Thank you for coming along today. Welcome in. Come back. You're more than welcome to come back whenever you like. Although this is my last stream for about a week and a half, so that's bad timing. But thanks for the follow. Thanks for the bits. Um, thanks for the kind words. And uh, see you again soon. You even got, I even paused the game to say bye. Probably not even here anymore. ...to control facility. Let's do it. Ah, gotta wait for all these platforms to open. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What Lama, horrible you've got 90, did this pats. place hold? Stanley thought Thanks for your question, himself. Frolicles. Is the rain purple? I don't know. I've got my both sets of blinds completely closed, and behind these blinds now, I have more blinds. I have more. I have like the blackout things. I'm just doubling up on the blinds. Uh, so I don't know. Can't answer the question. So sorry. I did 
Chronicles, I got I got those blinds that you recommended. I was now then I gonna remove to this life. these Their blinds. But I don't revealed. but each bore the number of an employee I, I did a, in the I'm, building. I'm double blinding. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Yeah. Good blind talk. Enjoyed it. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been 69. under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? This is what I'm like in real life, by the way. If I ever meet any of you in real life, um, obviously some of you I have met in real life, but if I ever meet any of the others, I don't stand still. I just go, I just walk in circles, forward, back, bit, like this. I just, I just don't stand still. I'm always strafing. The only way I go through doors and walkways is like this, sideways, like a crab. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control, never. It was unthinkable. How can I make you not lose Wasn't loads it? of these points? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life Utterly blind to the world. Sparkle, I've got to make you queasy somehow. I didn't I didn't get to do my crossword scene. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labelled with emotions. Happy or sad Ooh, or content. I missed the question. So walking, sorry, Lama eating, Chan Gaming. Working. Pause the game. What's your favourite type of blind? I quite like the cloth ones. What? Cloth? What do you mean? Like just... No, I, I actually hate them because if you get... Well, basically, I hate them because when I used to live in um, a couple of flats in London and I, they were only single glazed, if you get... Um, they had cloth blinds. And if you get condensation and then the cloth blind gets damp, then that gets mouldy. And those cloth blinds can end up with mould on. And that's shit. So actually, fuck that opinion. What's my favourite type of hole? Thank you so much for the question, Lama Chan Gaming, that you're asking on behalf of a friend. Um, favourite type of hole? Thought about saying Courtney Love's Band, but in reality, I only know one of their songs. It's the one that played on MTV2 all the time uh, at around 2001. Um, hole of Apollo's pretty good. Let's go for that. Lama Chan Gaming, thanks so much for reminding me I didn't actually answer your question about blinds. What's my favourite type of blind? Um, Phoenician. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human. Oh, that bit's loud. Frolicles. Polos, Annika Rice. <laughs> the things we think about. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won. Come on. He had defeated the machine. Come on. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where? Do you know what? It's not Venetian. And I think Herford has nailed that because they do let through a little bit of light. And because of that, you can quite often be worried that you're not getting 100% privacy. So in which case, I'd probably go for those fucking fancy ones, which I haven't got and probably will never have, but the ones that are like integrated into the window and that you shut with a remote control. And you press it and it, like the garage doors in Rust, 
they slowly just go kukunga they just go kukunga so yeah uh that's my revised answer i don't know what they're called thanks thanks for your help herford uh, thanks so much lama chan, chan gaming for your question 500 points redeemed uh you could ask me a lot of questions if you could be a blind <laughs> okay if you could be a blind what kind of blind would you be laura laura blinder data thank you so much um the queen for asking me that question but i've answered it already velux 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 or velux the kagunga ones kagunga blinds had his co-workers gone <laughs> how had he been freed from the machine's grasp what up Frolicals, thanks so much for your question. Danny Blind or Daily Blind? For those that don't know, they're father and son. Dutch footballers. Daily Blind um, used to play for Man United and Ajax. And Danny Blind, I think it's actually pronounced Blind, um, was his dad, who I think is more of a legend. A bit like the whole Johan and Jordi when it comes to the Cruyff family. Um, the dad's much better than the son. Um, so for that reason I'm going to back the underdog and I'm going to say Daily Blind is my favourite thank you so much for your question the mysteries did this strange building hold but as sunlight streamed into the chamber Cuddy, he realised none of this mattered to him for it was not knowledge or even um, I feel terrible that I'm, that I'm butchering the, the Dutch names but at least I knew they were Dutch and I knew a couple of the clubs that they played for um, it's Blind but you pronounce Blind correct now. Thank you so much. Back to the game. No idea what the narrator's yapping on about. And power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. <laughs> I need to up the Stand price of uh, through the questions. Open door. <laughs> what have you done, Lama? I might make questions a thousand points now I know how many points you've all got. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right Fuck now, the thing. Oh, Lama Chan Gaming, thank you so much for redeeming 2,000 of your 69,000 fucking points. Um, what's in the freezer? We covered it. We pretty much covered it. Oh, Rowdy Roddy Piper. were meant to happen and Stanley was happy have we escaped Thank you so much for, for your what's in the freezer redeem um, frolicals. I haven't, there's nothing else pre prepared in the freezer. Okay. <laughs> it's all the usual stuff, except the pizzas have gone. Oh, we've now got ice. I've now actually put some ice in there. We might have to do what's above the freezer. Oh, you couldn't see me. I was looking 
I was looking up above the freezer at the stuff that was up there and I was thinking, is there anything worthwhile showing? Let me plug in my phone. Um, oh, okay. Lama Chan Gaming, thank you so much. It's fantastic to see you in today. I love it when you're here. Um, you redeemed Ask Me Anything, which can cost 500 channel pats. You can get channel pats by watching the channel. They slowly creep up. Um, or you can get them by gambling. Um, you can increase how many you have by gambling, uh, backing me on the crossword or saying I'm not going to do it, or occasionally we do other predictions, things like that. Um, thank you. I love you being here as well. It's... it's uh... <sighs> What year do you think you'll throw away that rancid melon that's in there? I'm I might petition my wife, 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 to keep it forever. I think when she looks in there at some point and says, Oh shit, that melon that we froze. Is that still in there? Oh shit, let's throw that away. I'm gonna beg I'm gonna beg her not to, so that I can consistently show it on stream and we can see what happens. A little experiment. No, no, I'm not going to do that. Lama, I'm not going to do that. Gus, but I think every day you should just freeze something totally random just in case chat asks. That's why I put Rowdy, Roddy Piper in there yesterday. And nobody asked yesterday. Yeah, Thank you, Frolicals. Do we keep playing this game? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps but look, I made you some content. It's a bit quieter. It's not much quieter, is it? Why is it so loud? I think it is quieter than it was. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. Let's go this way. He and this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee I lounge also first. Put just my to mic up, it. so things should be a bit more normal now. Ah, Thanks yes, for the bits, truly everybody. A room worth admiring. It had really been worth We're the detour after worthy. all, just to spend We're a few minutes oh. in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. The Wayne's World one got me there. I thought they were in this room for a sec. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. Narrator, I thought Wayne's so Wayne and Garth were that even though okay, all you your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Shut up. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I can't remember if we've been in here. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. No. We haven't done this before, I don't think. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh... uh from here, it's, um, left. What's happening? Oh, no. No, uh, it's to the right. Don't mistake. be a dick. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down, this guy. right, left, down, left, right. Yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Snatching his shit. Agreed. When, like, when you were smaller, and actually I do this to my daughter sometimes, and then I'm like, no, don't do this, because she'll end up hating me. Whereas, like, you hold something just out of reach. And then they try and jump up and then you just take it, you just hold it higher like they're a little cat or something. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. 
Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game no. from the beginning. No. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Sorry, that one might have been quite loud. Felt quite nice. I might have to do that off stream. <laughs> right. Let's do one. Th let's do one more run All through. All co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Just feels like something that I should, you know, if, you, if you're going a bit mad. <gasps> Wait, what? Just eat your no, mic. No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Thanks, BP. Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Stop did you moving. move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. God. I hate it. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. I said I was only okay, going to do one more playthrough. Why not? Playthrough. Restart. Oh my god, can you imagine? The flowchart. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Um, don't matter. Why does the narrator annoy you so much? I think it's sometimes when we're redoing bits and it, and he just uses too many words. I don't. I'm, I don't mind him. He's he has been good. Okay, I really yeah, liked him at the start. Worse. I might be remembering. This I'm impatient. Wrong. I just want it's to crack possible. on. The story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? PP, that, I mean... <laughs> that is, uh, that is actually great. Okay, we've come back to our office. <gasps> no, we haven't. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. What? The story. Here it comes. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. This is mad, isn't it? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognise this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. Fraz, how you doing? Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? I'm not a little hat boy today. Do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. I won. We you both said it. know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and I won. this was not one of those situations. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. <laughs> I think I, this would be... I'm, don't get me wrong, I am enjoying this, but I think it would be fantastic right. to be high. I've got a solution. This time, I'm to make sure this. we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. 
Just follow the line. How simple is that? You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Fucking hell. Too loud. Is my ducking working now? Is my ducking working? Is the music going quiet when I talk? Go back and look at that fern. What? I, Stanley, this is. I'd this love to paint will be very a big yellow line later in the story. through a house. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. No, narrator, you're bullshitting me. This is a lie. I don't have to remember anything about this. Fuck you. Fuck off. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no, line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story is... Oh, no, 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 not again, line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... No, oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. <laughs> do you remember the first bit, the first playthrough, when you did everything he told you, says Lama? Yes. Yeah, things have changed a little bit, haven't they? Here we go again. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Now. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Oh, stop Use it. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. No. Because I started going the other way. Oh, nice, David. Yeah. I basically won. I just won. Chat can confirm. Uh, the narrator just told me I won the game. Oh, no. Not you again. No. Stanley. I'd just also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. Oh my god. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. No. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Okay. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to okay. go, there must be a reverse door That's what I'm doing. that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse it's door's always weird origin. Him. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny. 
awaits. <sighs> Fine. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Uh, hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. Well, I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer to stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um... Whatever it is that made this schedule, how would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm trying to read what we've got coming sure up next. We're not quite sure the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We're we'll here. find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. How do I return to normal life after this? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I'm ready for Stanley Perhaps to die. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Right, I am actually going to stop Look, Stanley, fairly I think soon. Perhaps we've gotten off on the I think foot here. I've got a call at two. Enemy, really. I'm not I, I need to have lunch. I realise that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. Oh, look at that the drop down there. The story has been about nothing but you it's all the this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, <gasps> Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. There's an achievement thing. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Oh, now, I'm not I want asking it. for me. I'm asking for her. I want it. No, no, don't do this. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. Don't do this, he says. To let doing her it. back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need to We've be been the one this. to do this. To reach out to her. We've been through this if narrator. You can truly place your faith in another. It's not my real wife. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Sounds like okay, my real there wife. We go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Are you in oh, my Prime come video? On. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. This is when I'm I trying turned to on get the you narrator. to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. I thought I was going to do this game this for two streams. It's going to be like a hundred about streams, the death isn't it? Of a man named Stanley. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. I'm going to press a different letter. A 
I pressed D then, so I just moved right. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay, fine, I'll press Q. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Come on. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley I mean. dreamed I of wild the... expeditions into the unknown. I, I do get Fantastic it, but... Fantastic discoveries of new lands. Come on. It was wonderful. Let's go, let's and go. each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he Stanley's imagined that one palace. day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. It's a headfuck, isn't it? It's version M. It's the whole point. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It'd be right it if I could jump up on the desk. It mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought we'll do some that his decisions would mean something <gasps> was almost too wonderful to be can do some crouching. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. It's just crouching, yeah. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Come on. And down another was a yellow line that wheeled in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Come on, narrator. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. A wonderful fantasy. Hope that it would never end. <coughs> that he might always feel Can't even free. say. Surely there's an answer down Can't some Can't even say the path. word fantasy. Mustn't it be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Maybe restart. But there is no answer. How could there yeah, they, possibly this, be? They don't in seem reality, to have added any changes in here. Pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing but has changed. I've thought that before. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. But I'm, oh, I don't know. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. What did we do last time? I think I pressed it. I think I pressed it last time. Let's not press it this time. Let's see what happens. Now I'm going to do what he tells me. Blake Town. Welcome in. Um, highs and lows. Mostly highs. It's been good. It's been good. There's been some really cool twists and turns. Some funny stuff. Uh, a little bit of frustration here and there. It's a head fuck and it's never ending and I'm going to need to stream it again, I reckon. The crossword was indeed a bust. Probably my worst ever performance. I think I got two, two right. Oh, I'm going to have to press it. I'm going to have to press it, aren't I? Oh. Oh, what do I do? Do I press it? Do I not press it? I don't know if I should press it or not press it. Oh, God. Press J. Nothing happens. K. <laughs> JK. B. You see? Can he just not hear me? Press it. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Stop it. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. 
but I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, oh. the same as Stanley. If you hold down both mouse so buttons, you move forward. I'll try once more to so that's nice. to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Come on. Come on. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please and Stanley die. pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. I think we're going to stop there. I think we're going to call it for today's stream. Or at least for playing this game. We'll be back. I'm intrigued enough to know what else is going to happen. And I am enjoying it. But I don't think I can. it's a game that I can just play for ages and ages and ages. Uh, yeah, so I didn't save before. It's just resuming. The sequel is now paused. I do like the way it's turned into the sequel. Anyway, quit to main menu, quit to desktop, bye bye Stanley for now. So we'll get back on that when I come back. Um, should we do something else? What time is it? Uh, actually it might be good to have a proper bit of time to have some lunch and do emails and stuff before my call at two. So. Um, I need to get some more new daytime people to raid because every time I go and have a look at a raid on my morning streams, it's just good people, but the same people. I literally have four people. Where are you going? But maybe don't say. Uh, I won't say, actually, bollocking passwords. No real reason. I'm obviously, I won't give an address. But we're going on holiday with another family, my mate from college, um, his wife and two kids who are the same age pretty much as my daughter and they're really good friends, so it's going to be good. How about Edinburgh's nicest boy? I don't actually follow Edinburgh's nicest boy, but Edinburgh's nicest boy is always recommended to me. Thank you so much for your question, Walls. What a great way to end. Would you rather poo from your mouth or talk from your bum? Fuck, that's fucking hard. Poo from a mouth, actually, because whatever happens, I'm pooing in private, so nobody's going to see that. But it would be pretty weird when I walk into a bar and straight face with my mouth shut, a little voice comes from my bum area. Poo from my mouth. And you just get used to it. It'd just be normal. In another dimension, somebody's asking somebody else the question, would you rather we from your ears or we from your penis? And they're like, we from your penis? No. I'd like to we from my ears like, like I normally do. That'd be a weird question to ask, actually. Anyway, you still have to eat in your mouth too, though. Yeah, fine. Oh, it's not fine, is it? I've gone with it. Uh, who are we going to raid? <laughs> Recommended channels. XQC, Sunshine Arts, Posty, Edinburgh Nicest Boy, L L LTK, De Hulacard. Don't know who any of these people are. Well, I do know some of them. Edinburgh's Nicest Boy. Uh, Sparkle Muffin has a Sea of Thieves suggestion. Let me see who else. We could just raid Slate. I always say I'm not going to raid Slate because I have regularly, but I haven't raided Slate for quite a while. Tell you what. Let's raid Edinburgh's nicest boy. Uh, I'm not following them, so I have to do that awkward thing. Right, let's set it up. Spell Edinburgh right, you idiot. Edinburgh. 
This is good, isn't it? Edinburgh's nicest boy. Raid has been created. I thought he said cancel. All right, so it's over, Josh. But we'll be back. We'll be doing some more uh, Standing Parable another time. I've set up the raid. Um, oh, nice. We'll go and do that in a second. So, as I said, I'm now going on holiday on Saturday and I'm not planning on doing any more streams Thursday, Friday. I've got to be up at like 3.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. So even though it'd be tempting to do a Friday night stream with a llama or Guzbo or someone, um, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to try and get an early night uh, and I probably won't do another stream tomorrow. So yeah, I'll be back a week on Sunday. Um, please come back when I come back. Next week, you've got no me, you've got no Pip. Hopefully, Llama will do some streams. Um, but if not, find some lovely new streamers you haven't checked out yet. We have loads of great streamers in this chat all the time. Walls, go and watch Walls play. Rust. Um, and anybody else. Hello, Cassandra. I hope you haven't just arrived, because I'm literally leaving. There's a shout out for Walls. That makes sense. Um, yeah, cool. Thank you very much for following as well. Look at that. Thanks, Cassandra. We're going to go and raid Edinburgh's Nice Spore. I've been drinking. Um, catch you all later. Thanks so much for the raid. How are you doing? Welcome in. Am I still recording? So I, basically, the raid just happened and I didn't realise. Nice. So, VOD people, uh, the raid just happened and I wasn't prepared. Um, so, this is a little treat. You can hear Edinburgh's nicest voice talking to me. I've got to go, guys. I've got to go.